think that they were intertwined with each other. What I call the content, as opposed to the practice of his academic work, is one of the primary ingredients in the secondary world of many kinds. Anglo-Saxon above all. And of course, the philology. The philology of the primary world relates very, very closely to the languages of the secondary world. Sindarin and Quenya, the languages, the elvish languages of Middle Earth. Uh, they're totally different in the sense in which he meant, used the word fantasy. They're, they are the languages of the fantasy. But they're very hard. They're hard-bitten. They have their own severe phonetics, their severe grammatical history. It shows, I think, as important as it shows what the word fantasy means. There's nothing crazy or absurd in the idea. His fantasy philology is just as, just as strict as the philology of the Germanic languages that he practiced as a, that he expanded as a professor. So I think that his academic, the content of his academic uh, life, as I say, intertwined and was productive, very productive, in his sub-creative world.